In this video, we are going to look at a couple of definite integrals and see how we can figure out the relationship between them. And these are standard types of integrals that you might see in exams. So pay attention to this video. It will definitely help you when you encounter similar problems. So the question says, if a n is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sine of 2n minus 1 x divided by sine x dx and bn is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sine of nx by sine x whole square dx, right? Then we have to answer the following questions and select which options are correct. a10 is equal to pi by 2. Second option is a4 is equal to a5. Third option is b9 minus b8 is equal to a9. And fourth option is b9 minus a9 is equal to a8. Right. So we have to figure out how to manipulate or how to understand the both these integrals a n and b n. And the way we do it, because these are fractional integrals, there is no nice way to do it unless you can manipulate two different fractions and get a simplification. So right now you should realize that there is no nice way to simplify this expression. You can try and expanding it. It's an odd power. You can try finding lower integrals. If n is 1 and n is 2, you can find those integrals easily. But as n becomes large, it is difficult to expand this or simplify this in any way, right? So what we do it do here is a simple trick. What we try to do is the difference of two successive integrals. So I will apply the same method, the same trick to both of these. So what I'll do is I'll try to find the difference of a n minus 1 minus a n. Why the difference? Because if you do the difference, you will be able to subtract the integrands here, right? So you will get something like this 0 to pi by 2. What is a n plus 1? It will be sine of 2 n plus 1 minus 1. So 2 n plus 1 x by sine x dx minus 0 to pi by 2 a n is sine of 2 n minus 1 x by sine x dx, right? Now, the reason I am subtracting is because the fractions have the same denominator. The only thing that has changed is the numerator here. So when you subtract, you can combine them as a single integral 0 to pi by 2 sine of 2 n plus 1 x minus sine of 2 n minus 1 x divided by sine x dx. Right. Now let's see what we can do here. I will work it out in the next screen. So a n plus 1 minus a n is 0 to pi by 2 sine of 2 n plus 1 x minus sine of 2 n minus 1 x by sine x dx. And you should realize here I can use the formula sine c minus sine d. And this top part will become 2 sine c minus d by 2, which is 2 sine x and cos c plus 2 by d by 2. So it will be 2 nx here divided by sine x. So immediately the whole question becomes super easy because I can cancel sine x like this. And this is a straightforward integral 0 to pi by 2, 2 cos 2 nx dx. And that will be basically coming out as 2 sine 2nx by 2n evaluated from 0 to pi by 2. And that is actually equal to 0 because it will become pi by 2 when you put here, it will be n pi, which is 0. And when you put 0 here, it will also be 0. So this is 0. So what we are getting is a n plus 1 minus a n is 0, which means a n plus 1 is equal to a n, which means that Actually, all of the integrals are going to be equal. Like you can put n is equal to 1, 2 and so on. You should get a1 is equal to a2 is equal to a3 is equal to a4 and so on is equal to a10, right? So if I wanted to find a10, all I need to do 
is to find a1 a1 is equal to a10 so a1 is what a1 is 0 to pi by 2 when you put n is equal to 1 it is sin x by sin x and that is simply going to be pi by 2 so all of these integrals are equal to pi by 2 and that solves for us two of the options we get option 1 which is a10 is pi by 2 and we also get option 2 which is a4 is equal to a5 right so notice how easy the question became when you did the difference of two successive integrals here if you try to do the integral directly it is quite difficult now the other approach for the second integral we'll do the same thing we'll say bn was 0 to pi by 2 sin square nx by sin square x dx this was my bn and now i will do bn plus 1 minus bn same trick so it will become 0 to pi by 2 sin square n plus 1 x minus sin square n x divided by sin square x dx. This is my integral. Now you should know this standard result from trigonometry sin square a minus sin square b is equal to sin of a plus b multiplied by sin of a minus b. So what that means is sin square n plus 1 x minus sin square n x will become sin of a plus b. So it will be 2n plus 1 into x multiplied by sin of a minus b and that will be simply sin x. So notice how that helps us. So what we are getting in the numerator is this. So this integral is becoming 0 to pi by 2 sin of 2n plus 1 x multiplied by sin x divided by sin square x right dx so what is this this is 0 to pi by 2 sin of 2n plus 1 x divided by sin x dx because this sin x gets cancelled here so now notice that this is of the same form as a n if you remember a n was integral 0 to pi by 2 sin of 2n minus 1x by sin x dx. So clearly looking at this, this is clearly a n plus 1, right? If you put instead of n, n plus 1, you will get this expression, right? So what we get is this nice result that b n plus 1 minus b n is equal to a n plus 1. And that gives us b n plus 1 minus a n plus 1 is equal to b n. And if you put n is 8, you will get b9 minus a9 is equal to b8, right? So this gives us, actually, huh, we should rewrite it like this, b9 minus b8 is equal to a9. And this gives us option 3. And you can see that option 4 is incorrect, right? So our correct options here are 1, 2, and 3. And remember this trick, when you have integrals, definite integrals where there are trigonometric ratios but with fractions and all, always try to take a difference of two successive terms. Notice that the same trick worked in both the problems and it reduced the problem and made it really easy, right? So that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something from it and I'll see you next time.